The self-propelled 21 brought many advantages, including a higher work rate and reduced operating costs and labour requirements, with just one man needed to operate a tanker combine. Petrol consumption was also lower compared to trailed combines, and it could open up fields without running down any standing crop. The 21 became a popular machine with larger farms and coped extremely well with British conditions, despite the thicker and damper crops and higher yields than on the American plains. The combines are cutting round and round, like they did back in the day at Wantersden. This system of working minimised time wasted not cutting, with reverse turns at the corners favoured. The combines are also together for unloading, carried out on the move when possible. This 21, owned by Mike Taylor and driven by Mike Hollingsworth, is a later example dating from 1947. It's fitted with a vaporizer and runs on TVO. The reel with wooden bats fitted to the other combines was standard, but this one has a Massey Harris Universal pickup reel with cam controlled tines to pick up flattened crops, lodging being a much more common occurrence with the taller serial varieties of the 1940s. Although a few early 21s came over fitted with steel wheels, most were equipped with rubber tyres. However, the narrow front tyres could cut in, especially in wetter seasons or on lighter land, so dual wheels as fitted to two of these combines were often used, 